got all your blog files and your database successfully backed up, then you're ready to do the next step, which is to delete the core files of WordPress. So once again, navigate into your blog's installation folder, and we're going to delete just about all of these files. Now I want to take a minute and explain what I mean by that. All these are WordPress core files, but there are two things that we do not want to delete. One is this folder called wp-content. This contains your themes, your plugins, and all of your uploads, so do not delete that. Now if you accidentally do, it'll be okay because you backed up your blog before you did this. But that's annoying, so just be careful and do not delete this folder wp-content. The other one we don't want to delete is this file called wp-config.php. But with the exception of those, we can delete everything in this folder. So I'm going to select everything and I'm going to deselect wp content and wp-config before I delete. One quick note here. 95% of the time with WordPress installations, there aren't going to be other folders or files <coughs> in this folder. So you can confidently delete everything but these two files. However, sometimes people will put other folders into their same WordPress installation folder and in that case you probably don't want, don't want to delete those. So do a quick scan to see if you've got any folders shoved in there that other parts of your website are using. You can recognize these because if you've got any folders that don't start with WP- dash then those aren't WordPress folders, and you don't want to delete those. Once again, your backup is critical here, because if you end up deleting something you didn't mean to, you can always restore it from your backup. But, nine times out of ten, you can select every file in this folder except for wp-config.php and wp-content. Then, just delete.